September 8, 2018, a security alert appears at Marriott International's headquarters in Bethesda, Maryland. An internal monitoring tool has flagged something unusual. Someone is running massive, systematic queries against the Starwood Guest Reservation database. The security analyst investigating feels his stomach drop. The queries aren't coming from an external IP address. They're coming from inside the network. And forensic evidence will soon show they've been running since 2014. Within hours, Marriott's instant response team assembles. By Sunday evening, investigators from Mandiant are on site, beginning the archaeological dig through four years of server logs. What they find is devastating. The hackers haven't just been inside Marriott systems. They've been inside Starwood systems since 2014, two years before Marriott even acquired the company. The intrusion predated the merger, survived the integration, and continued undetected while Marriott celebrated becoming the world's largest hotel chain. The database queries represent the final stage of data exfiltration. The hackers are wrapping up. They've already stolen approximately 500 million guest records, passport numbers, credit card data, complete travel histories, everything about where diplomats sleep, which executives travel together, who visits sensitive locations. This isn't ransomware. No evidence suggests the stolen data was publicly posted for sale. This is state-sponsored espionage. On November 30th, 2018, Marriott will announce the breach publicly. But first, they need to understand how this happened and who they're dealing with. The hackers work for China. If you're finding this story interesting, consider subscribing to our channel, like, and comment your thoughts below about the Marriott Starwood data breach. Summer 2014, Starwood Hotels and Resorts operates 1,300 properties worldwide. Their reservation system connects properties across six continents. It's valuable and it's vulnerable. According to forensic investigators and press reporting, the attack begins with a spear phishing email sent to a Starwood IT administrator in June 2014. The email appears to come from a trusted vendor with an invoice requiring review. The attachment installs a remote access Trojan, Plug X, a tool known to be used by Chinese-linked threat actors. The malware is patient. It maps the network, identifying key systems and valuable databases. Over weeks, it establishes multiple backdoors, ensuring persistent access even if one entry point is discovered. By August 2014, the attackers have identified the crown jewel, the Starwood Preferred Guest Database. This contains complete guest profiles dating back years, passport information, payment card details, travel histories, arrival and departure dates, guest preferences. The hackers establish deep persistence using modified versions of legitimate administrative tools, making their activity blend with normal IT operations. Forensic teams later find tools including PlugX and Mimikatz embedded in the systems. Data exfiltration begins slowly, Small extracts, encrypted and disguised as normal network traffic, flow to servers in China. Investigators estimate the extraction rate, though exact daily volumes weren't published in Marriott's statements. The key, pull data slowly enough that no one notices. By year's end, millions of guest records have been copied. Starwood's security team has no idea they're compromised. September 23, 2016. Marriott International announces its acquisition of Starwood Hotels and Resorts for $13.6 billion. The merger creates the world's largest hotel company, over 5,700 properties across 110 countries. Wall Street celebrates. What nobody knows, Marriott has just inherited a massive cybersecurity breach. The hackers are already inside the systems they're buying. In early 2017, Marriott makes a fateful decision. They'll migrate everything to Marriott's systems and processes. Starwood's dedicated cybersecurity team, people who understand the reservation system's vulnerabilities, is largely eliminated. Their institutional knowledge leaves with them. The integration creates chaos. Databases are migrated, access controls are reconfigured, network architecture is redesigned, security monitoring tools are replaced. Integration and migration create blind spots and complexity that the attackers exploit perfectly. The hackers adapt. As Starwood systems integrate into Marriott's infrastructure, they follow, establishing new backdoors.
throughout 2017 and 2018, data theft continues, now including Marriott rewards information and expanded travel histories. Marriott's security team, focused on integration challenges and unaware of the existing breach, doesn't detect the persistent unauthorized access. Later congressional testimony and litigation would criticize how the merger complicated detection efforts. The attackers have successfully hidden inside a corporate merger, using integration chaos as camouflage. They've been inside for over three years, and they're not done. What the attackers build between 2014 and 2018 isn't a stolen data set. It's an intelligence database of unprecedented value. Consider what a hotel reservation reveals. Full legal name, passport number and nationality, date of birth, address, credit card details, travel dates, property locations, room numbers, guest preferences. For frequent travelers, this creates detailed patterns of global movement. Multiply this by hundreds of millions of records spanning years. The result is a surveillance map. Security researchers and press reporting identified specific targeting patterns. The attackers appeared particularly interested in U.S. government employees with security clearances, especially those traveling to Asia. Military personnel traveling to bases in Japan, South Korea, Diego Garcia. Business executives from aerospace, defense, and technology companies. Journalists covering Chinese domestic politics, human rights issues, or military affairs. The passport numbers were especially valuable. Unlike email addresses that change, passport numbers are stable identifiers. Combined with other databases, visa applications, border crossings, flight manifests, the Marriott data helped build comprehensive profiles. Intelligence analysts call this pattern of life analysis, where does someone normally travel? Who accompanies them? What's their routine? Deviations signal opportunities. Someone who travels alone, suddenly traveling with others. Typical budget travelers booking luxury suites, suggesting sensitive negotiations. The data could answer questions intelligence agencies dream about. Which State Department officials traveled together to Beijing? Which defense executives visited Middle Eastern capitals before major deals? Which journalists visited Xinjiang? This is building the mosaic, millions of small pieces assembled into comprehensive intelligence. Perfect surveillance. The September 8, 2018 security alert came from Marriott's data loss prevention system, designed to flag unusual database queries. The detection was almost accidental. After four years of meticulous operation, someone on the attacker team made a mistake. In early September, they ran an unusually large query, extracting tens of thousands of records in a single operation, bigger and faster than their normal careful exfiltration. It triggered an automated alert. Marriott's analysts discovered the query originated from an administrative account that shouldn't access the reservation database. The credentials were legitimate. The behavior wasn't. Mandian's forensic investigators reconstructed four years of intrusion. They analyzed server logs, network traffic patterns, malware artifacts. Within days, they identified multiple backdoors, custom malware, persistent access mechanisms, and evidence of continuous data exfiltration since 2014. The malware signatures matched tools used in attacks attributed to APT41, a Chinese-linked hacking group also tracked as Winti and Barium. Security firms had documented APT41 in previous campaigns against gaming companies, telecommunications providers, and healthcare organizations. By late September, Marriott understood the scope, initially reported as up to 500 million guest records. Later investigation placed the upper limit at 383 million unique guest records. Marriott's January 4, 2019 update specified 5.25 million unencrypted passport numbers, over 20 million encrypted passport numbers, and 8.6 million encrypted payment card numbers. Investigators and U.S. authorities later linked the attack techniques to Chinese-linked groups. If you've made it this far, consider subscribing to Arxis and turn on the notification bell. We have plenty more stories like this. November 30th, 2018. Marriott issues its public statement. 
Marriott learned during the investigation that there had been unauthorized access to the Starwood network since 2014. The announcement dominates global headlines. Marriott stock drops 5.5%, erasing $1.4 billion in market value. The company offers free WebWatcher identity monitoring services through a dedicated website and call center. U.S. officials publicly attribute the attack to China's Ministry of State Security. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo calls it unacceptable. The regulatory fallout begins. The UK's Information Commissioner's Office investigates under GDPR. In July 2019, the ICO proposes a record £99.2 million fine, later reduced to £18.4 million in October 2020. The U.S. Federal Trade Commission opens its own investigation. Subsequent DOJ indictments in 2019 to 2020 charged individuals associated with APT41 for multiple intrusions, though the timeline of public law enforcement actions differs from Marriott's 2018 discovery. Separately, on February 10, 2020, DOJ indicted four PLN members for the Equifax hack. Marriott faces over 100 class action lawsuits. The company eventually reaches settlements totaling approximately $52 million, $28 million for U.S. consumer claims, and $24 million for U.K. claims. CEO Arn Sorensen testifies before Congress. Lawmakers demand answers about why the intrusion wasn't detected sooner, why Starwood's security team was eliminated during the merger, and what protections Marriott will implement. The damage extends far beyond financial losses. Why does travel data matter to intelligence agencies? Because hotels see what surveillance cameras miss, who sleeps where, and with whom. Consider a hypothetical scenario. A senior U.S. diplomat books a St. Regis suite in Singapore. Two days later, an executive from a Chinese state-owned enterprise checks into the same property. No public meetings, no official calendar entries, but hotel data shows proximity. That becomes an intelligence lead. Or, a defense contractor executive has a clear pattern, monthly trips near Pentagon City. Suddenly, the pattern changes. Reservations at Los Angeles hotels near a rival defense firm. The disruption might indicate job discussions, merger negotiations, or industrial espionage opportunities. Security experts and journalists repeatedly emphasize this point after the breach, Passport numbers and travel histories are extraordinarily useful for intelligence mosaic building. Passport numbers, unlike email addresses or phone numbers, are stable identifiers. China could track individuals across multiple stays, email accounts, even name changes. Pattern of life analysis reveals where does someone normally go? Who do they travel with? What's typical routine? Deviations create intelligence opportunities. This data wasn't stolen for ransom. No evidence suggests it was publicly posted for sale on dark web markets. This was intelligence collection at scale, building a map of global human movement that China's Ministry of State Security could query for years. The 383 million individuals whose data was stolen can't retrieve their passport numbers or travel histories. That information now sits in Chinese intelligence databases. Marriott significantly increased security spending and staffing following the breach. The company implemented enhanced monitoring, continuous penetration testing, and zero-trust architecture. The Starwood breach fundamentally changed how the hospitality industry approaches cybersecurity. But the damage is permanent. The stolen information, travel histories, passport numbers, patterns, now resides in Chinese intelligence databases, available for analysis whenever needed. Affected individuals include countless government officials, military personnel, and business executives who had no awareness their movements were tracked. The breach transformed merger due diligence. Marriott's failure to detect an existing four-year intrusion before completing a $13.6 billion acquisition became a case study in what not to do. Private equity firms now require extensive cybersecurity audits before closing deals. Insurance companies offer breach warranty policies, protecting against inherited cyber incidents. 
regulatory frameworks evolved. The breach occurred as GDPR took effect, making Marriott one of the first major test cases. The $18.4 million fine sent a clear message. Companies are responsible for protecting customer data even when stolen by nation states. The indicted individuals remain free in China, which has no extradition treaty with the United States. APT41 remains active, tracked in ongoing campaigns against healthcare, telecommunications, and government agencies worldwide. The fundamental lesson? In modern cyber conflict, what you don't know you've lost matters as much as what you do. For four years, Marriott unknowingly hemorrhaged intelligence to a foreign government, patient, persistent, nearly invisible until complete. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Arxis for more deep dives into the world's biggest cyber crimes. Check out this next investigation and let me know in the comments what hackers we should cover next.